What's going on, ladies and gents, gents without sense? It is Flynn R of Daxter 5150. And as you probably already know, uh, Dax is kind of taking a semi-hiatus uh, in between what he's been doing, recovering from asthma attacks and all that. So I figured, what better way to fill in uh, the lost time than to uh, have one of his closest colleagues fill in for Dax as he is taking a break from the usual, you know. So anyway, what we're going to be doing today is playing a special little game. This is a game called Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. It was released in 1997, and you may have already seen Dax play through Operation Ozone, which was released in 2001. So, we're leaping backwards a few years, and we're gonna fucking do this shit, so... Buckle up, everyone. <laughs> Alright, let me just get this shit fired up. There's the humongous entertainment logo. Alright, time to eat this... this syrup. What? What happened to my milk? No, oh, no! Got milk? Not anymore. You animal! Everything is going just How could you? Land. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. Is that a North no Korean missile silo? Toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Hey, I don't mind dry nothing cereal. Stop me now. As long as <laughs> I can actually, uh, I can actually use a bowl of dry cereal right about now. I can. I can swallow that shit down perfectly. I don't need no fucking milk. But luckily, Spy Fox is gonna save the day! Let's do this! Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No thanks. It gives me hives. What what airline is he flying for? Is he is he flying with spirit? If he's flying with spirit, then then it's obvious he does not want to have any of that shitty food. Alright. If you insist. From what I know, the, the Spirit Airlines uh, uh, airplane food is fucking horrendous. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, ah, Penny. Penny. That's, That's what I call a dick. Right. <laughs> Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Oh no! The entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. <laughs> yes, <it's pure laughs> that was funny. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Ugh. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heifer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Yeah, we already know that. Exactly. We Monkey Penny mentioned that earlier. Information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Why would you hide a picture in mashed potatoes? Priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. What the fuck the is Quack code doing? Is in your fortune cookie. Is he at the fucking strip club? Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. We hope you enjoyed your flight with Spirit Airlines. Don't ever come back again. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Spy Fox and stale frosted flakes. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. Oh boy. I wonder which one I should pick. Mm, decision, decision. That one. A bit weighty for me. <laughs> A bit weighty. Hmm. A helicopter, how convenient. Where do you ever see that flying overhead with another plane? If Jeez. You thought that was impressive. You should have seen the one that got away. Yeah, Bindi a lot, and I'm looking at so you. This is the sleepy little island well, no, of God, I did not do it. I just went to Allah. done fashionably early since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Okay, thanks. I don't really need to. I don't really need to see that. 
But I'm hungry for some breakfast. Let's go to the cantina and see what they got. The door's locked. Oh, fuck you guys. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. Before we go uh, meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center, I want to show you guys something. Have a look at this. Yep. Beautiful, isn't it? I wonder. Ah! There's a secret there. And, let's talk to this duckling, see what he knows. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Hell no, man! <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. That is, unless I didn't fuck her, Trebek. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I guess there's no secret there. Ah, but there's a secret there. And there's a secret there. Oh boy. I'm so happy. Let's see, what else? What else? No, 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 no. It says happy hour 7 to 9. It says Greek Cantina. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Ugh. Let's see. It's a photograph of it's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. How many more times are you gonna state the obvious? Let's just go meet up with Monkey Penny already. Let's see. Five 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 six seven zero five. How five, fortunate five, that five, Monkey Penny gave me this six, entrance code. Seven zero five. Hello, Bicor Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. We did it. That is a really, really unrealistic looking elevator to the Mobile Command Center. How he manages to get around in that, I will never know. Now that's a person to person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So, what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? I think it looks sexy. Just it like a you. A buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was No one would ever notice my dick. Where is Quack? <laughs> oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Oh, thank you. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now, pay that was attention. Funny. This is Greek money. It's called Drachma. You may need Dakota to Dakota might know about this. On the island. And this uh, is a, a toothbrush. If you guys and are sure really curious on how drachmas are, uh, Don't put are, that in your mouth. How much drachmas are worth anyway, uh, you should probably just uh, special look it up on Google or some shit. Let me show you how it works. Or or don't unless you don't give a shit. Apply the Go right ahead, fuck it, I don't care. Push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. I need to see my dentist. That's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence. I don't yet, care. But you might want to check out that Feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Where could that be? I like the sound that makes. Let's see, any uh, Easter eggs? <laughs> That crying kid again! Fuck! Oh boy! Oh, why? That <laughs> creepy crying! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what's next? Oh, Monkey Penny, does this rescue mission of ours have a secret code name? Yes. It's called Operation Utter Grab. Utter Grab. Why couldn't you just call it Dry Cereal or something? You know, because that is the name of this game after all. That would have only been the more logical name for it. If I had the knack, I'd take a crack at giving this empty vending machine a whack and a smack. But I suppose Quack would give me some flack when he gets back to this shack. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here.
I don't understand why you're a secret. My spy watch is Don't busy. interrupt me! Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. I was about to say, why is uh, Spy Fox a, a secret agent spy instead Fox of a famous here. rapper or something? Hi, spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. This was before we had cell phones. Alright, let's go. I wanna go in that pool, mommy. <laughs> Do your laundry, you guys. Seriously. Alright. I'm glad I found that. Let's see. I'm a good boy. I'm good at finding secrets. Let's see. Uh, Star, Texas, that's a military call sign. I can't use that. I'm glad I found that. All right. Uh oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid. Oh, that's how you pause it. Okay. I haven't seen a steel door this too bad. Caviar is made of fish eggs. Otherwise, it would be really good. How do I access my spy gadgets? Okay, that's how you save the game. Sorry, press here. Aha! Thank you! Let's see. Here's where I keep my yeah, spy I'm, I'm still, gadgets. I'm still new to this fucking game, you guys. It's a laser toothbrush. Yeah, we already know it's a laser toothbrush. Shut the fuck up. All right, there we go. We're burning through the steel door, and it looks like we can't use it anymore. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. <laughs> How apt! Didn't Monkey Penny already say that? Shit! Fuck it. Let's go. All right. Now we got somebody we need to save. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. His ass is actually a lot prettier than Miley Cyrus's. Now the question I'll is, give you that. how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Weren't you just digging at the rump roast on your airplane ride? All right, let's see. Piranha. I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary feta factory. It must be feeding the cow to those piranhas or something. Let's see. Oh boy, a cupcake! Hey. Let's see what else we can get from here. Cheese, a toaster. We might need to use that towards the end of the game, so there's something like that. Hmm, this must be the temperature control. We gotta make it colder. Kind of it's the only way we can freeze the surface of the factory. piranha pool. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> The little beasties seem to be slowing down. <laughs> there we go. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now Remember, kids, utterly. you do your science and you'll know how everything works. Or, we could just ask Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Not like I know who he is, anyway. There's a retarded fish. <laughs> Thanks. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um. Uh, Fox. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need but to I'm only seven pants. years old. How am I supposed to know what Didn't debriefing means? Happen, Mr. Fox? All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Oh, boy. Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. And by that, you may sharpen any pencils. You have to stay pretty sharp in the Midget areas. pencils, to be exact. That's a perfect pencil. You should probably clear out the sharpener. 
Well, when William the Kid Thugs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. <laughs> you don't scare me, you I guys! I fought some poop and nails. Oh, 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 I did. My whole body. How to fight like Garrett Simmers <laughs> coming suddenly, soon. I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. <gasps> the was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking yeah, advantage sure of my momentary did. asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me sure and forced me into a smelly dark bag. And I believe in they the tooth fairy. They the kid's secret <laughs> island fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a like a piece of beef. But were you able to <laughs> I'm learn so anything? Sorry. William the kid is up. Uh, well, uh, thanks to uh, little bovine uh, ingenuity on my part. I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has Nectar a of the goats? master plan. That First, sounds kind of all the dairy cows in disturbing. the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, used this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. So you basically yeah, shouted out into the I toilet. The whole thing. Now it's in the fucking swallow. sewers. We need to, we need to go into the to sewers to dig it out. Code. Or needs to find that secret fortress we can do something else. Ah, oh, there you are. Back from your, uh, back from your wanking session. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'm Flim from Daxter5150, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!